sun looks cool, kind of hazy back in the trees a little bit yeah. from the fires. You know, I think the campground would be busier than it is right now. I mean, I, I feel like this is the best time of year to come out. Yeah. In this part of the country. Definitely. I mean, you have to use your heat, but. Yeah, but at least it's comfortable to do yeah. things outside. June, July come around and it's like, it's miserable. Mm. August, ugh. sure a little homestead for the long weekend. I think it's time to get started on dinner. We are doing bison burgers and camper potatoes. Should be delicious. We might throw a little egg on there, maybe a little ham. Might go a little crazy. See what we can come up with. Something interesting.
a chunky burger you got there. It's chunky. I think it's going to be good. Dollop a daisy, as they say. Did you do dollop a daisy? I gotta let those potatoes cool down, so we'll start with a. They're actually really not that hot. With a bite of a bison burger. Look at. With Friday. Oh. Hopefully, I cooked it enough. I don't know anything about cooking bison. Hey! What? I wasn't supposed to open it? Mm mm. Because you didn't tell everybody what we have for an adult beverage this evening. Brewed and canned by Westbrook Brewing in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. Just down the road. <laughs> Cheers. That's actually quite nice. It is. Now, let's see how this buck bean burger tastes. Tastes like a black bean burger. <laughs> the consistency on the, on the pan of the burger is a little bit different than regular beef. Mm -hmm. It's almost like it didn't hold together as well as beef does. Potatoes going in. Mm. We still have to make chocolate chip cookies. Mm. We have to. First time using the oven. Well, we love our Nobo 20.3 camper, but one thing we really don't find any information on, or very much information at all, is the the oven that comes in this thing. So we're going to use it for the first time today and bake some chocolate chip cookies. So today we're making cookies, so we're going to use the convection oven. And then to set it to the right temperature, you're going to hit um, the numbers down here. For example, one is 100, two 150, three 250, and so on and so forth. We are doing 350 today for the cookies, so we're gonna hit seven, and then start. And now it's starting to heat up. And this is the gauge where it's gonna go. So this is the, the temperature we want it, where it's blinking. As it heats up, you're gonna see the green lights gradually get to that point. Once it's to that point, it's ready for the, the food to go in. It's at that temperature. We got our little pan ready of our homemade chocolate chip cookies. Got a nice little mini pan that we found at Marshall's. We tried to find a mini pan at Caraway to match our other mini cooking set for the camper and they don't seem to have any available. So Caraway, get on it, would you? So I have this rack in here on the lower end because you can have it higher up if you want to grill, but I put it down low so that the cookies won't burn. Looks like you have a, all sorts of pre-programmed things on here too, like fresh vegetables and frozen vegetables and cake and pizza and roast chicken even. Yeah, you can grill, roast. Possibilities are endless with this thing. Yeah. Defrost, roast, grill, convection oven. Goodness. Cookies will be done in no time. Big dog. He's cleaning up for cookie time. Thank you. It's not real. That's the pet squirrel of Jackson's. Jackson, where's your pet squirrel? Here. <laughs> is this better than truck camping tell everybody make sure they go check out our truck camping video from a couple of weeks ago he likes truck camping you, better you did a great job out there but he likes wearing his vest he does like his vest but he also is sort of like a little prince so he kind of likes to live in the lap of luxury <laughs> have people bring him treats and whatnot Me and the little dog are taking a little off the trail hike this morning. 
little bit cool, but the wind has died down since yesterday. It got to like 20, 25 gusts to 30 mile an hour winds yesterday. So it was well below freezing or felt like well below freezing. This morning is brisk, but the sun is out and again, the winds died down. So it's, uh, it's beautiful. Can't ask for better than this. Bison burgers last night were super good too. I forgot to put ham on them. I was gonna put a, a slice of ham, add a little, an extra dimension to those burgers, but it, they didn't eat it. So well done. Perfect little cast iron meal last night. And Jessica's uh, black bean burgers, of course, were satisfactory. So uh, it was a good meal. I uh, watched a little bit of a movie and called it a relatively early night. One thing I really like about camping in the cooler temperatures is that everything you do outside kind of wears you out a little extra more, right? You breathe that cool air in your lungs and it's just refreshing and invigorating. But then when it comes time to sleep, it's just, you're just relaxed and you hit the pillow hard. That's all I can say. So um, I just, I love this time of year. Love this time of year. Come on, Jackson. Yeah, we haven't put any in it. A couple British digestives for breakfast. Mmm.